So these are a couple containers uh, we have sitting out in front of the house. And uh, I don't know if you can see the roses behind all these, um, <laughs> yeah, these I'm, I'm guessing pumpkins, um, but everything in here other than the rose has actually, we don't even know how it got planted. There's there's two tomato plants. There's one here, there's one here, and this one, uh, we're, we're actually gonna start getting some tomatoes off it. And this gigantic onion, it's, it's huge. It's a green onion. I can't believe how big it is, but these two containers here, are actually doing pretty well. This, this, well, this one's pumpkin. I don't know if the other ones are pumpkin, uh, but as you see, the flowers are coming in, and uh, yeah, it's starting to starting to grow out. But yeah, like I said, we did, the only thing that was planted in here was roses, so that was uh, that, that was actually pretty cool to see. So still not a lot of growth on uh, the plants inside the greenhouse because uh, we still don't have uh, any fish in the system. Um, but I mean, they're growing a little bit. You can see there's some uh, some flowers that are coming in on these tomato plants. Um, uh, looks like on all of them. And uh, this green bean looks like it's starting to take off, so that's good. Uh, bell peppers are still still about the same size. But uh, the habaneros, uh, these guys are not are not really liking life right now. So, um, uh, and the uh, the dwarf tomato plants, they're. They're still, they're still with us, so that's, that's good. And here's the, uh, the lettuce, the spring mix that, uh, I have planted. They're all getting nice and big. That's, that's pretty exciting. I can't wait to be able to come out here and just have my own salad bar whenever I, whenever I, whenever I want. Okay, so we got the, uh, hot water heater all hooked up. As you can see, this line, it was, or is the line that, uh, feeds the greenhouse. And as you can see here, we replaced the 90 with a T, uh, which then travels through a valve so we can, we, we can control the water movement through the heat exchange. Uh, it's uh, brought up and uh, reduced to a half, half inch, runs through the heat exchange, and then empties into the uh, fish tank on the other side, which I'll show you right now. So water passes through the exchange, uh, through this half inch line, and then back down into the fish tank, uh, right back, uh, right back there. Now we, we have a Venturi hooked up to this, but it's not, um, it hasn't been fitted correctly and it only works when the water level is a little higher. And uh, if I get a chance, I'll, I'll show you guys that here in a second. So that's the corn in the dirt, dirt garden, the raised bed. And these are the corns in the aquaponic system. And as you can see, they're not doing very well. Uh, this system is actually not doing very well and I have uh, two theories on that. Uh, one being, that the rain is interfering with the growth of my beneficial bacteria and or the system is just not getting enough oxygen into the water. So uh, let me show you what we did with that or how, how I'm trying to uh, combat that. So this is the recirc line and as you can see um, we've installed the venturi. Now there's four holes on this on this uh, this particular one and as you can see the water travels down this recirc line and then down into the water. And as you can see, I mean, it's not doing a horrible job of aerating the water, but I don't, I don't know if it's gonna be enough to keep the system aerated. But also when the water drains back into the system, I'm sure that aerates a little bit. So I'm, I'm still kind of leaning towards uh, the problem with the system is uh, the rain and not being covered. But uh, the Venturi works pretty well. I'm gonna add a couple more of these throughout uh, all of our systems, uh, especially com uh, the downspout going, coming into the uh, the floating raft bed because uh, that would be pretty easy to add and uh, you know help air aerate the water so I just wanted you uh, to take a look at that okay so I want to show you a couple of the modifications I did to the system uh, other than the venturi uh, I took out some of the piping on this system as you can see uh, the pipe used to run from the uh, from the front and go all the way to the back uh, I just eliminated that whole section of pipe so uh, it basically just comes right up from the pump and uh, splits into a T or uh, the T the splits this pipe uh, into two flows and fills up each bed. Um, it's a lot simpler and uh, having less pipe and having uh, having uh, it, it actually gives me more control uh, on my on, on my fill times because uh, before it, it was very easy to have uh, one side or the other cocked a little bit so you know one bed might fill up a little faster. Uh, this way gives me a little more control and I can keep the fill times of this bed uh, a little more constant. So that's that, that helps. 
So thanks for watching this video, guys. Uh, don't forget to come on out to the website at hdaquaponics.com. Uh, from there, you can find links to our Facebook fan page uh, and our Twitter, Twitter account. Uh, you can follow me there at uh, twitter.com slash hdaquaponics. And uh, don't forget the forums on the website. We've started taking, uh, we've opened up the forums and we've started fielding a couple questions. And uh, it's, it's actually been pretty fun. So if you, had, if you have any questions uh, about aquaponics or anything like that, please uh, just come on out to the forums and uh, we'll try to get your questions answered. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching this video and I will be updating you guys again next week.